there are webcams and then there are streaming cams and then there is <laughs> the Osbot Tail Air. Now this thing here is a webcam, it's a streaming cam, it's an NDI cam. It is an SRT uh, secure network cam. It is everything you need. <laughs> And this goes all the way up to 4K30, and it has a host of other features. So thank you to Ozbot for sending this out. Um, as always, a transparent review. Ozbot Tail Air comes in really nice packaging. Now, once you get inside of here, it's super simple. There is a really nice case that comes along with it that allows you to travel with this and protect it. Make sure you take the time to read the quick start guide. There's about eight pages in English that will tell you kind of the lighting patterns and things like that. Inside the case, you're gonna get three items along with your Ozbot Tail Air. The first is a very nice USB-C to USB-C cable. The second is a USB-C splitter. Now be careful with this because inside of my dock, it would not work on both sides. I had to choose one with the data sign, not the charging sign. This is USB-C to USB-A here get ready for the nerdy goodness. <laughs> this is a one over one eighth inch CMOS sensor with eight optical lenses and an effective resolution of 3856 by 2176. So that's a little bit better than 4K. Has 4X digital zoom with 100 to 6400 ISO range. It also has one over eight thousandths of a second shutter speed capable of autofocus and manual focus. This has an f-stop or aperture of 1.8 and it's a 23 millimeter focal length with 2000K to 10,000K white balance and a six axis gyroscope. On the body you will find the power button and the USB-C cable. This is where you can plug it in to charge it. There is your microphone input, 3.5 millimeter if you wanna add a third party microphone. At the bottom is your pin connection for your uh, docking station. In the front right above the power button, you also have this little slot right here and that is for your wireless module. And once you're done using the Osbot Tail Air, you can put it back for storage and protection into the included case. And as you can see here, there is plenty of room and it is a really high quality case and there's enough room for you to put all your accessories. One of the cool accessories for this is going to be the USB-C to Ethernet power. So basically this is allowing you to power over Ethernet. That way you can have a longer run um, as opposed to having this plugged in all the time to a PC. This gives you a lot more flexibility. This is a very short look at the software. So right now I am just sitting in frame where I set the frame. I'm gonna bring my hand up now and it's going to track me. And you can see right there on the screen um, you can see right there on the screen capture there that it is capturing me within the software as well. And I can set that. And even if I move around and away, that audio, that automatic audio is still being picked up and it's still following me around the room. Um, at any given moment, I can go like this and it will stop tracking me. There'll be three blinking lights on the camera and it will stop. And now I can move in the frame. Uh, set the frame and kind of talk, you know, boom, got this type of space open for the frame. Um, auto gain is picking my voice up from here to there. I can use the L symbol, which basically it's a frame symbol, to zoom, do the frame symbol again, right? Now the dynamic zoom is when I control both sides of the frame by putting up my frame and expanding or Constricting, expanding, or constricting. Okay, add the track again. Now it's tracking me again. And that is the human tracking. This is also capable of tracking animals as well. Again, this is an advanced camera with a lot of features. And so I'm gonna move this thing over here. I like that frame right there. So we're gonna leave that frame. I'm gonna have it stop right there. Okay, so I like that frame. So. We're gonna look at the software here. There is a lot of software here. Um, as you can see, you can control pretty much every portion of this. And as I said at the beginning of the video, it would take almost its own video in its entirety to basically um, go through all the features. Now, one of the ones I wanted to show you here was normal tracking, upper body, and close up. So as you saw when it was zooming and things like that, it was kind of going down, right? But if I wanted it to focus on the top part of my body, head, shoulders, chest area, then it will do it that way by clicking upper body. Um, 
but AI mode you can set for animal tracking for group tracking you can create your own presets and put in there as far as like where the camera starts when you use it um, this is like when you, if you want to control the gimbal itself manually you can do that I uh, got a little carried away with that right there um, zoom magnification again you can control all of that and again it's up to a 4x zoom that's too close for comfort <laughs> um, going into the image, you can HDR, focus, autofocus. You can have it globally for around the entire space or just on my face here. Um, anti flicker in case you got lights and things like that in the background, neons, LEDs, things like that. It's going to flicker. White balance, I have it custom to 5599, 5600K basically uh, from a temperature standpoint. Um, in the in the image itself, I have it set to standard. You can go through the different ones, and then you can go to more, which is this is going to be more like your uh, your advanced, not advanced, but like other settings, right? That you know, noise reduction, volume on and off, up up and down. And if, right now, I'm using the built-in microphone, so you're hearing the Osbot Tell Air. Um, I could plug in another microphone through that 3.5 and have an external microphone connected to here if I wanted better audio. Um, and then you have your general settings and things like that. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, now we're gonna show the beauty settings. So within the beauty settings, you can set the bokeh, which is the background blur, and I can turn that up and down and, and increase the back. And you can see the blurriness in the background increasing as I turn that up, and I'm standing out a little bit more from that background now. I like that subtle kind of subtle look where I'm just subtly standing out from the background going through retouches and stuff like this like this is above and beyond like you know advanced settings um i can actually change my face so i can go to classic look now i got the smooth like samsung beauty type look i can go native um, native is kind of less uh, if you will but that classic kind of puts the pink on your lips and things like that as you see it's they're expecting it you know to be designed for gender female etc uh, tone, smoothness, clarify, slim. This is where stuff gets crazy and you can slim your face and make your face more narrow. Like this stuff is getting out of hand, but um, it's kind of cool that you have those features in something like this. On the software, you can also turn on grid lines and things like that to help you place yourself in the screen, if you will. Human tracking, boom, boom. Okay, so now we're gonna put the lines on the thing. Now, what this does when you add this um, feature here is it can basically tell yourself where you want your face and things to be. So you can adjust that frame with those lines. And so if you want to keep your head kinda in this portion where it's kinda connected right there, you see how it kinda does that and put it down a little bit, give me a little bit more of the ceiling. There you go like that and you can adjust where your face is in frame. So now when I move, it's gonna to try to retarget that spot of where I set my face. So that's super, like if you have like a certain look you wanna have in your video, you can definitely do that. Um, and that's face framing, or automatically hit the face framing right there and it does that for me. So I hit done there, and now that's set and it's gonna kinda of try to stay on my face. And if I go down and up, it's going to align with that face and it keeps it smooth it's not just going to boom jump across it's going to be as smooth as possible just in case i mean when people watch from the other end when things move like that sometimes that seasick feeling happens i've heard that in business settings and so this smooth movement and this is as fast as it moves i have it set to fast it can go even slower and kind of move smoothly to kind of alleviate that for the people that may be watching you the mobile version of the Ozbot Start application is actually a little bit better than the MacBook version of the application. It gives you a little bit more indicators of what's going on on the screen. You're easily able to see your frame and where you are in frame. There's even other settings that don't appear in the MacBook version. Now, I really, really like the mobile version. And again, there's so many features on this that it's its own video to sit here and discuss all of the features even in this mobile application. Now there are different um, resources on the Ozbot website to learn how to use this um, Tail Air and it's in all of its uh, different uh, uh, features and benefits across the different ways that you can output and record and use 
um, the Osbot Tell Air. So I definitely would uh, put that link in the description below so you can see that um, resource that they have to explore the Osbot Tell Air. There were also times where it did not work as expected, and this is obviously a network issue. And so I don't, I'm not sure if it was on my end regarding the internet that I have at my house or if it was the camera, but typically a quick power off and power back on fix this. This happened maybe twice while testing this out over the last two and a half uh, weeks that I've had this. So um, not a really big deal, yes an annoyance, but an easy fix. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I've had a blast testing this out. This is my main camera going forward on my main desk. Um, I'm gonna be testing the Tiny 2 as well for the streaming desk back there. So make sure you subscribe, stick around for that particular video. If you're new to the channel and enjoy today's content, consider joining the Cozy Coalition and hitting that subscribe button below. And as always, stay cozy in that crazy world and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.